Hi, today we'll be assembling a Griffin L Marver on a GTT Phantom. You will need a flathead screwdriver, a crescent wrench, and an Allen key. I like to go ahead and remove the legs from the torch and the base. This is by far one of the most helpful tricks. Go ahead and flip the L Marver up so it's balanced. Slide the torch into the slot. Be mindful there are two holes on the side of the L Marver. We will be using the bottom hole. I like to go ahead and insert this. There are two sets of washers. You're going to want to use the smallest of the two sets. Insert washer. Kind of feed this through. We'll be using this leg. There are washers inside of these legs with a little bit of um, grease on them so that you can still move the torch. I like to face those on the inside. Sometimes these can be a little bit frustrating, so we've got to kind of work it through. There it goes. Take the other leg, do the same. Oh, don't drop your washer. There we go. Oh, got the washer, but got the leg. There we go. Sometimes these bolts can be a little tight. It does help to just thread them through. Once you get a lot of hardware on it, there's some resistance. Take the other washer, kind of slide it in here. Oh, there it is. Screw this all the way through. All right, we're gonna go ahead and attach our bolt to the outside just to hold everything together. We're not tensioning it up yet. Now that this is secured, let's make sure that our legs are facing the right direction. They're cut here. All right, they are. Let's go ahead and slide this bolt through the base. A little bit of a balancing act here. There we go. Sometimes just a little wobble to get it through. Attach this to the bottom. Now before we tension everything, we need to back this up so the hoses aren't in the way. Let's make sure that we're feeling pretty good about this. As far as placement and angle, we can cinch down the bottom. You'll need a flathead screwdriver for this. The bolt going through the marver is going to be an Allen key, so we're going to have to match that up. Usually in number four. Use your crescent wrench to hold on to the nut on the other side as we torque. You'll notice that the washers on the inside are not the same size as the bolt. They have some pretty large holes in them. That's fine. That allows them to kind of move to the place they need. I like to figure out where my torch is, how it feels. This feels pretty good for me. So I'll go ahead and secure it here. Kind of grabbing with one end and bracing with my thumb. I'll start applying more torque. And this marble will be pretty loose until those last couple of turns come through. So don't worry, just there it goes. Take that last adjustment, angle the torch to whatever your preference is, and go ahead and secure. You will always have this part left over because it was the original nut and washer that secured the torch to the stand. Now we have a fully operational GTT.